So the microphones were not working here. So we're just going to tell you what we think we said, which was we're going to be using this old piece of furniture that I got from my friend and we're going to use oven cleaner to take it off. Kind of like a paint stripper. We saw someone on Instagram doing this a while back. I'm sorry. I cannot remember the first person I saw do this, but several people have done it. So I don't know who to give credit to. Just go check out Instagram. You'll see it. It's all over the place. This oven cleaner is the off brand. It says compare to easy off. We're going to give it a try because it's what was under our kitchen sink. I'm going to let this sit on here for 20 minutes and then I'm going to wipe it off. You can also spray it off. It's winter time here right now. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wipe it back. Maybe get some water, rinse it off. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this outside, you know, well ventilated area. Cause even in the garage here with the garage door open, it's kind of choking me up a little bit and went and had to give it a minute. So I'm just got the scrub brush here. You can see how much goop is coming off of that. So I'm going to give this a good scrub, wipe it back. And then I'm probably going to spray another coat on here. It's definitely pulling off whatever kind of stain or varnish. Okay. I've got a bucket of water and damp washcloth. I went and got this towel to set underneath here because I was worried it was going to stain my garage floor, which not the end of the world. Here we have the second coat of the oven cleaner going on. And right away, you can see it's starting to discolor the oven cleaner, meaning we're getting more of that stain and varnish and dirt and grime, whatever's on there off, even before I start scrubbing it again. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for 20 more minutes, see what happens and we'll go again. So on the second coat, after letting it sit for 20 minutes, I decided I wanted to try using a scraper to see if I could get more of the stain off. It worked okay, but it got kind of feathery on the wood, so I stopped doing that and used the Brillo pad. And the Brillo pad worked a lot better. It was getting down in the grain and the detail, and it just took a bunch of the stain off with minimal effort. Round three on the project at this point, waiting in between for about 20 minutes. It's taken about an hour, but really I've only been wiping it back for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. It hasn't taken long and it's come off really easily. It's not gross and goopy like a lot of paint strippers can be. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's starting to get super light, but we needed to get a little bit more oven cleaner. So I went with the easy off and heavy duty to see if it would work better. So we are getting lighter and lighter. I'm about ready to go turn the outside water on though so that I've got a hose to get this off because as many coats as we've had to do, I think it would be a lot easier with a hose. This is working though. I mean, just the only thing I fear about in the summer if I have access to a hose is that it's gonna kill my grass. So I might have done it in here in the garage or out on the driveway anyway. Maybe this is still the method I would go. It hasn't taken very long. We went and got this little brush. Jamie picked it up and it's a little stiffer and it's pulling this off a little better than that other brush was. So I walked up the stairs and what do I find in my master shower? I got tired of all the scraping and the, and the rubbing. I think we're done. We've got it off. I hope that doesn't stain my tile. No, I'm rinsing it off. Lots of water. Lots I, of water. I can't say anything. You know how many pieces I've cleaned in here? <laughs> That's probably why the drain doesn't always uh, drain that and all my hair. So after five coats and the mic is still not working, I think we had it muted. <laughs> or I had it muted. It's looking pretty light. It's got a little bit of splotchiness on the top here, but I like it. I like it a lot better than what it was when we started. I'm just sanding it here with 220 grit sandpaper. I just want to get the splotchiness. It had just a few light and dark spots. I want to see if I can help that out with the sander. We're using Sweet Pickens oil wax on this. We love it for old dry wood. It's especially dry now that we've been using oven cleaner on it. It's gonna help nourish it and it's a really great sealer. We use this same sealer on our hardwood floors that we put in the farmhouse on the island and also on the butcher block countertops in the kitchen and in the pantry. When using oil wax, you wanna apply it. I'm using a brush here. A chip brush is probably best because you can just toss it if 
doesn't have to be a nice brush to apply this. You can use a rag to apply it as well. Just know that it's gonna be a little bit easier with the brush. You wanna wipe it back after it's been sitting on your piece for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just wipe the excess off and then you can let that sit for about 24 hours and buff it or you can add another coat at that point and just rinse and repeat with the wiping off of the excess oil wax. Okay, this has sat now for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna wipe the excess off. We found out the hard way, if you let it sit on there for longer than 15, 20 minutes, it really doesn't like to come off. It absorbs down in the wood too much, and then you're gonna have highs and lows in the white tones that aren't really desirable. Wiping it off lets that white coloration of the oil wax sit down in the wood grain. It gives it almost a lime wash look, real faint if you don't go more than one coat. The microphone is still not working today, but if you'd like to pick up the white oil wax you saw shoes or paintbrush, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com. So it didn't turn out as light as we expected, but we're going to try it on a couple other pieces. As far as stripping off varnish and stain, this was actually a pretty easy process. If it was summertime and I was able to spray it off outside with the hose, it probably would have gone that much easier. Right now it's winter, so I was working in the garage. It worked out and I think it turned out great. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.